Right, I'm just doing a uh, quick video. I've bought this shed from uh, eBay. I'll put the link to, um, to who it's from, and it's a, I had it custom made, and it's a nine foot by 11 foot, heavy duty, tantalized shed. It seems pretty good, pretty solid. Um, and I'm just doing a quick video on boarding the shed. So what I decided to do was to insulate the shed. I'm gonna put some electrics in the shed and uh, board it. And I thought I'd just do a quick video to show you, but I'll show you the shed first. So you can see it's quite solid, um, custom made, double doors. Not a, not a bad, um, it's not a bad shed. And it was um, 1,040 pounds delivered and erected. So I'll show you what I'm doing, look. So I'm boarding the shed. So uh, what I've done, I'm putting um, polystyrene in the walls. Now I've stood this polystyrene off, off the walls with these, and um, they're, they're um, glazers window shims. I think a box of 500, um, no, a box of, I don't know, a box of 500 is about five quid or something like that. So they're not very expensive. And then the insulation I'm using, this is Wick, Wix insulation. I'll show you that. It's this stuff. Easy fit rafter insula insulation, right? And you get three bits in a pack, and basically it concertinas together. So if I show you this, it's it's got marks down it, and the idea is that you can compress it for it to fit. So you can put one in and put another one in, and then it holds. When you want to cut trim it, you can just trim it down the lengths. I've been cutting it with. A big butcher's machete knife that's what I've been doing um, so as I say I, I, I use these window shims the idea being that, that it stands the insulation off the walls so you get a little bit of an air gap if you see down there you get like a five mil air gap um, which I thought was thought was a good idea now the boarding I've been using I got the boarding from Wix and it's really cheap and cheerful board. The board is about £5.50 a pack, I think it is. Um, and that's from Wix. It's tongue and groove board. It's a bit laborious because obviously you, you, you get a, th um, a thin strip. Like It comes like this. It comes like this. And it's tongue and grooved. Then you just slot it together um, and nail it, nail it down. I'll show you, the, show you the, what it looks like. So it comes in a pack of five. It's um, 1.8 meters long, and it says it's about five pound fifty. So that's what I've been using for my board, and I've been attaching it to the walls. I bought myself a, um, I bought myself a, um, a screw fix nail gun. That was about thirty quid, and I've been using that to fix the boards to the walls. Um, other than that, um, to fix my plastic shims on, I've been using this stuff, uh, Gunner Nail. I've been using that, that's from Tool Station, that's about two quid a two. Alright, so I'm going to do the video in probably three parts, but I just thought I'd show you where I'm at, and then I'll uh, carry on with the next one, when it's probably when it's boarded, and then when I put the electrics in. Okay, cheers.